Hello, my name is Dennis Jensen, and I'm really excited today because today is the day before Talk Like a Pirate Day. It's Saturday, and I'm actually going to a private party later today. One of uh, my classmates made a pirate ship last year, and he decided to set sail uh, this date. So it's the pirate ship's one year's birthday. Um, it was <laughs> it was so funny, and I can't wait to this year's party. So I'm very happy. Anyway, I uh, discovered that uh, my voice in the other tutorials was very low, so I'm gonna try to speak a bit louder, just to um, make my point clear. I actually bought a new microphone, but <laughs> it turned out it was even worse. It only cost like a hundred kroners, and that's like mm, 15 euros or something. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to talk, talk lo louder so it's more clear what I'm talking about. This tutorial is a basic uh, guide to Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to crop images, how to select, and how you can use your selection to do different things. I'm gonna take a photo of a wall and try to make it into a texture you can use for a CG scene later on. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can clone stuff in your image, meaning that if there is something in your image you want to go away, in our case it's going to be a picture on the wall. We don't want the picture, so we're gonna make it disappear. After that I'm going, sh going to show you how you can uh, see the offset, uh, meaning that you can offset the image, also meaning that you can make your texture tile, so if you want a wall that is very long, you can make the texture repeat, and it won't look crappy. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can adjust your image, how you can uh, make the contrast bigger, how to adjust the levels, and how you can rotate it. Um, after that I'm gonna show you quickly how you can use layers to make uh, some stuff, some cool stuff, and how you can use masks. And that's about it. I'm hoping it's not gonna take too long. I will do it as quickly as I can. Anyway, let's just get started. So. This is the picture I found. What I want to do is I want to cut out the wall from the door opening and make a texture out of it. I don't want the picture to be on my texture, but as it is right now it can uh, serve good purposes because I can use it for measuring. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the crop tool. It's right here. You can also press C to select it. When you choose a tool in Photoshop, you get get a setting, some settings up here, um, which means you can actually set the width and height. So if I choose 50 pixels times 50, 50 pixels, it will keep the radio ratio of a crop. So let's see if I do okay. It's going to make it 50 times 50 pixels. Not very big, but it's usual if you uh, want a, a radio in some kind of way. Anyway, I'm not gonna matter about that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna crop out the thing in the picture I need. I'm gonna leave a little space around it, so I can um, adjust it better. And then I'm just gonna press OK. So this picture, I think I want to cut out the wall a bit better. So I'm gonna go to the tools, and I'm gonna use this tool, which is called Polygonical Lasso Tool. I'm just, I don't know why it's called that, that's a funny name. Anyway, 
it uh, can make it can select stuff very easily as you can see here so I'm just gonna select my wall like that and you can see the selections become clear when I then choose my uh, move tool um, normally Photoshop will look like this but if you show transform controls you will get this and this is very useful because uh, right now I can scale it and do all kinds of stuff but I can also if I hold hold control one of these points I can actually drag it and change the perspective um, right now my picture snaps so I'm just gonna mm, not sure why it does that but I'm gonna try to make this with anyway so right now I'm using the picture on the wall as reference it should be with straight lines so I'm just gonna fit it and this is uh, I think this is quite nice yeah so this is it and then I'm gonna crop my texture again so I don't get the, the unnecessary parts like that uh, I can see that uh, something is wrong on the top so I think I'm just gonna go a bit back and then try to fit it a bit better so you can see this line looks a bit more straight now I think a bit more down and you can download this picture on the site it was just a picture I found on the internet I hope nobody's going to complain um, but it serves the purpose of this tutorial okay so I can see that I need to crop a bit more to make it nice but you can already see that this is going to be a nice texture. <laughs>